So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts Star Wars C-3PO and R2-D2. So let's get into it right away and start off with the boxes. So we do get some basic style boxes for the SH Figure Arts Star Wars line. We do get the window right there in the front of the box and on the window in gold it does say Star Wars and SH Figure Arts. On the bottom it says C-3PO, R2-D2, Tamashi Nations and Bandai. And then the bottom of the boxes has the blah 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 stuff nobody cares about. And then here is the top of the boxes. And then the one side of them. And then the other side here with some images of the figures. And then the back of it does show a few poses you can get the figures into along with some of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get these figures open and take a closer look at everybody's favorite droids from Star Wars. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look and we'll take a look at 3PO first. And I think Tamashi Nations did an outstanding job with C-3PO. And this is probably my favorite 3PO in the 6 inch scale. Even though I've only owned this one in the Mafex, but from what I've seen and what I've owned, I believe this one is probably my favorite uh, so far they did a very nice job with it. I know some people probably wish he was a little more shiny But I think the gold on him looks good. I think they did a nice job with it And uh, we do get a translucent plastic for the eyes then you can see his robotic pupils under there So very good job with that and I sculpt around the mouth around the eyes and everything Just very good job all throughout the head sculpt there nice work on the uh, back of the head that piece that looks pretty cool and then the neck and the torso looks good. Very nice job all throughout it. We do get like a little dent right there. I like the way these pieces look. Right here looks pretty cool too. So very good job with the sculpt there. And then the back looks just as good. So very nice job with the upper torso. Then the midsection we do get all that wiring there. And all the wires are sculpted on there. And the paint's nice and clean on all of them. So they did a very good job with the wires around the midsection and the lower back there. So very good job with that on 3PO and then the arms look good some people might not like that his arms don't go all the way down but I believe his arms can't go all the way down in the movies from what I recall so he's always gonna be standing like that so I don't really think it's that big of a deal but the arms very nice sculpt all throughout it the sculpt of it just really looks great around here looks good the hands look good and I like the way they uh, put the uh, elbow articulation in there and the lower half of 3PO here looks just as good as the upper half. So very nice sculpt all throughout the legs there. And then the side of them look good. The back, we get the robotic butt of 3PO there. And then the lower legs here, we do get the right silver lower leg. Just like in A New Hope, I believe. Yeah, these are the New Hope versions. So, But I do like the way the knee pieces look. Very nice sculpt around those. And the lower legs, nice sculpt on those as well. And then the feet look just as good as the rest of the figure. So very nice job with the detail on C-3PO. I don't think they could have done any better of a job. The bottom of his feet do have a little bit of treads, which look pretty cool. So that is 3PO. Let's take a look at his buddy R2. And I think they did a fantastic job with the detail on R2 as well. I don't know if it's my favorite R2 that I've ever owned, but they did a pretty damn good job with it very nice clean paint where the blue meets the uh, silver there a nice sculpt all throughout it the knobs look pretty cool his three knobs on his head there and then this piece here I believe is a translucent plastic and then we do get the little light there that you can change the colors which I'll show you during the accessories same with the back one and then the lower part of his head looks really good nice uh, detail nice tiny sculpt work on that nice clean paint work so very good job on R2's head there then the lower part of R2 Looks just as good, and I do like how they added like a, looks like a gray paint in these sculpted lines, the line work. I really love that they added that on there, because if they didn't, then he would have looked not as good <laughs> as a, of a figure. But I really love the way everything looks around here, just, that looks awesome. Clean paint work all throughout this entire figure, and very nice tiny sculpt detail. That piece looks cool, so do those, this, this piece, so very good job there. And the back looks just as good, even though it's a little more plain, but the bottom part looks pretty dope. And they did put the uh, the gray paint in the line mark there, so very good job with that. And then his legs look dope also, very nice sculpt and paint all throughout them. And then the feet, we do get those cables or wires there that look pretty cool, and they do have some sculpted lines all throughout them. Very nice sculpt and paint around these pieces. Just a very cool looking R2 and he does have actual wheels down there and he does have his third leg in there. And 
I believe on his feet, his robotic feet, they put like a wash or something on it. It's not on anywhere else on the figure, just on his feet, and it does look pretty good. So they did a very nice job with this R2 here. I think they did a great job with the detail on both these droids, and I don't think I could be any more happy with how the detail turned out on this 3PO and R2, but anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we really don't get much with both these droids. C-3PO does come with more accessories, R2 really doesn't come with anything, but he does have more features to the figure itself compared to C-3PO, so we'll go over R2 stuff, then we'll move on to C-3PO. So with R2, we only get these pieces right here, which are meant to go on the inside of his feet, which I will show you in a second, but very nice uh, paint and sculpt on these. I don't know what they are. I have no idea what they are. I totally forgot. If you do know, feel free to comment it in the comments below. So the way you get these on, like I said, the inside of his feet here, you take these pieces, pull from the top, and they just unpeg. And then you take these pieces here and peg these in. And I don't think it matters which side you put either one on. So you get that on there and then put it back down there and then there you go as simple as that and it does look pretty cool having it on there but like I said I have no idea what it is or if it's just something he upgraded and had put on him or something like that so that is all the accessories included with R2 but he does have a few features so one of them is he does have his third leg and all you do is just click it and it pops out when you want to put it back in just click it and yet he, he does have actual wheels on each foot there so I do like how they did that then he does have these little doors right here that can pop open. So you do that, and then that piece comes up, and then this piece comes up. And it looks pretty cool. Nice sculpt on those. I forgot what these were used for. But uh, they did do a nice job with them. When you want to put it back down, just push them in and close that little door there. So very simple to take those out. Then also, these blue pieces here. This one you take out like that, and then this side... I have a little trouble getting that one, but you open it from that side. And I forgot what they're used for also. It's kind of a random little feature, but I guess it's pretty cool that they added that on with R2. So we do have that feature. Then the last one, which is my favorite, is this little lights right there. They can, they can change color. So the front one, to change the color, you click on this piece here. And it kind of gets stuck there, but it goes to silver, goes to blue and then back to red so you get the silver blue and red for the front and then the back one you click the knob on the top of said to change that color so it goes to silver yellow green and then back to red so you get a few more extra colors with that one besides blue so that is probably my favorite feature with this R2 so that is R2's features and accessories and then what we get with C-3PO is two interchangeable faces. And I was wondering to myself when I saw the extra face in the package, I'm like, what the hell is the difference between this face here? This is the one that comes on the figure, and I couldn't figure it out. And then I noticed there's a little dent on the top of his head there. So it is cool that they included like a battle damage type interchangeable face. And then we do have a regular face here that isn't damaged or anything like that. I mean, they didn't have to include it, so I found it... Pretty cool that they did do that, and the way you interchange his faces is extremely simple. All you do is just line up the pegs, peg it in, and when you want to switch it out, just pull it off, and then put the new face back on. So very simple to interchange those two faces there, so we do get that. And then we also get the extremely tiny communicator, and I could see a bunch of people losing this tiny accessory. It's so small. So you just have to be very careful with this. But this is the communicator he uses when he's talking to Luke, when Luke and them are trapped in that trash compactor. And then he's like, oh, no, R2, they're dying. So that's what that little accessory is. And pretty cool that they included it. They did a good job with it. But like I said, be careful not to lose it. So we do get that. And then we do get six interchangeable hands. So we do get these open hands here, which come on the figure out of the packaging and very nice sculpt and paint all throughout these I like the way the palm looks like that that looks dope and then the top of the hands just looks sick very nice tiny scope detail right there that looks really good and all the hands are very easy to interchange just like I said the one main issue I have is when you articulate his hands they like to pop off very easily so we do get the open hands here and then we do get these gripping type hands. And this one, I believe, is not meant for the communicator. I have him grip on the communicator with these hands. But he can grip onto something with these. 
but a very nice paint and sculpt all throughout these here top of the hand looks dope I, you might be able to wedge the communicator in between the end of his thumb and pointer finger but i haven't tried it yet so we do get a pair of those and then finally we get the communicator gripping hands and what you do is put the communicator right in between the pointer finger and the thumb and he grips onto it very well with these hands but a very nice tiny scope detail on the top of the hand and then great job on the inside of the hand as well just really nice job on all six interchangeable hands but anyway that is all the accessories included with these droids let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of the droid duo here to the top of 3po's head it looks like he's around six inches tall and to the top of r2's head it looks like he's just shy of three inches and three quarters of an inch tall and then here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Attack of the Clones, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, A New Hope Han Solo, and A New Hope Chewbacca. And then here they are compared to the Mafex Force Awakens Rey, the SH Figure Arts Darth Maul, Mace Windu, and Jango Fett. And then here they are compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Punisher. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! So now for the articulation, we'll start with R2 first, and on his head we do have the front knob, which you can swivel, and then the back one can also swivel. The top one, you cannot swivel, and then his head can swivel in a full 360, then his legs here can swivel in a full 360, then the feet can hinge back and forth a tiny bit, same with the middle foot there. And then these pieces on the side, you can hinge them open. And then you can hinge these pieces up and down. And then we have these pieces on the front, which can hinge out and then back in. So that is R2's articulation, which I don't really expect much from R2 because it's R2, you know. Now for 3PO, 3PO, we do have two points at the neck, so the upper neck joint. We just get a tiny bit of forward and back movement and... I believe there is not any pivot at the upper neck. You're going to have to turn the joint to make it go side to side instead of forward and back. But we do get swivel up there. And then the lower neck joint, just a tiny bit of forward and back movement. So with both joints, he really doesn't look down too much. And then same with looking up, not too much. Then we do get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck. And then it also swivels. Now for the uh, torso here, we do get a point of articulation around the abdomen there. And it does go forward about that much, but goes back much better. So we get, all right, forward and back movement there. And then we do get some pretty good pivot. And then it also swivels. Now for the waist here, it does go forward and back decently. So with both joints, he crunches forward that much and goes back a lot better than going forward. And then we do get pivot at the waist there. And then it also swivels. Now for the arms here, they do just swivel in a full 360. And then we do have bicep swivel there. Oh, you could actually move the arm all around. So very nice movement there, actually. So you do get some pretty cool articulation under this shoulder piece right there. And then we do have a single bend at the elbow. It doesn't even bend in 90 degrees, but it's C-3PO. You're not going to be having him do kung fu poses and stuff like that. And then we do have a ball hinge at the wrist, so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. Now for the legs here, 3PO can actually kick forward. 90 degrees which is pretty damn good for him and then kicks back about 45 degrees and then kicks out to the side a lot less than 45 degrees but like i said he's not going to be doing no kung fu kicks or anything like that then we do get a nice swivel at the thigh here and it is on a similar joint like the arm there it's like a uh, ball joint so you can move it all around you can pivot it move it forward and back and swivel so I do like that point of articulation at the thigh there then we do have a single bend at the knee that bends back a little more than 90 degrees then for the ankles here they do swivel they hinge up a pretty good amount not as good hinging down and then we do get a little bit of ankle pivot not too much but really it's not needed it's C3PO you know what I mean and uh, we don't get any uh, toe hinge, but like I said, it's not needed because he's a damn droid that really just walks around and moves his arms up and down. But uh, overall, I think we do get some good articulation for what they are, and you're going to be able to get them in some good uh, 3PO and R2-D2 type poses, and I'm about to show you some of them right about now.
But anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Star Wars C-3PO and R2-D2. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate these figures between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give them an 8.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy these figures, I did get mine from Ageless Geeks. Not sure if he will have them on his website, but I'm pretty sure he'll have them at his booth at Frankensons. And don't forget, if you ever buy something from AgelessGeeks.com, to enter in code name Daredevil, and you will be getting yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get some basic style boxes for the SH Figure Arts Star Wars line. We do get the Wonder Rice. So we do get some basic style boxes for the SH Figure Arts Star Wars line. We do get the Wonder Rice. Uh, the windows. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get these figure. Looks like he's just shy of three inches. And a. And blah, 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 blah. The Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. New Chubby G. Nice work on them. The detail with the paint and the sculpt. Damn it! Moving on to the accessories, we do get more stuff with three. They did a good job with it, but uh, what? Yeah. God damn, man! What the hell? Very nice sculpt and paint all throughout these. Really tiny, very nice tiny. Blah blah blah. blah. Fooked it up. Very nice sculpt all throughout the torso and the back. Back looks just as good. Hey, quiet you! And the back looks just as good. Hey. Quiet, I'm trying to record, bruh. Damn, bruh. Mm -hmm. <laughs>